So have you ever started a project, tore something completely down, and then got busy and forgot about it for like a year? Oh good, I'm not the only one. Well today, this is my forgotten project. So today I am working on a Zuma Yamaha scooter and even though it's very dusty from sitting around my house for a long time, many years in fact, it is a really nice scooter. Of course, I have it <laughs> completely torn apart, box of screws because uh, I did let it sit for years and when I went to go see if it would run, the gas just poured straight through the carburetor all over the place, had a leak and um, Needed some repairs, so I tore it apart and got busy, forgot about it, and uh, decided that I wanna go ahead and get it fixed. Now, why am I fixing this thing? It's not because I've ever rode a scooter in my entire life. <laughs> I probably will never ride a scooter unless I'm just, you know, I don't know, I might get on this thing and find it really fun and, and scoot it around a little bit, but it's never just really been my thing. This machine has a story behind it, let me tell you. August 26th. 2019, I got a text really early in the morning. I was getting ready for work. It was for my dad. And it was just another day. I didn't think anything about it. He said what he needed to say. His last text was, I love you. I didn't send anything back. And I went to work. Two hours later, a police officer showed up at my shop for me to go to the hospital and identify his body. So my dad, who was actually my brother because my grandparents adopted me um, and pretty much acted like my brother, he was, I wouldn't say the black sheep, he just had his own way in life. Um, a lot of people out there probably have a family member just like I did that chose a different path. And he um, overdosed at 7.30 in the morning. Um, when I went to his house that day, he had a cold red bill still sitting in the seat of this scooter. He was fixing to head over to my house and decided to um, do some drugs that morning. And that was the last time he ever did them. So I took the carburetor up to work this week, put it in the ultrasonic. I got it all cleaned out. I'm going to see if I can figure out how to put this thing all back together. And I know y'all are like, why haven't you made a video all week? Well, there's been some stuff going on. All right. <laughs> um, let me show you her. I know y'all are going to want a uh, stray puppy update. I will not bore you right now, but for all of you that <laughs> want to know about her I will uh, give you a full update at the end of this video but look she looks pretty comfortable she's chilling and uh, she's a awesome dog actually <laughs> and if you're on this video to learn how to fix it I'm sorry I didn't film tearing it apart a year ago but hopefully this demonstration of putting it all back together will help you so as of right now look like everything is tore out I got the battery on the charger, I got the gas tank out, carburetor, um, everything is out of here. So now when I tore this thing apart, I did order some new parts. I, I got a fuel pump and then a gasket for the sending unit because it was leaking like a sieve from there. Now parts for this thing are super cheap, so that's a bonus. All right, so I'm Got my cleaned carburetor here and I am attaching this carburetor manifold to it before I go back to install it because I had to take it off to uh, take the carburetor off and it connects right here, okay? And then the other end of the carburetor goes here to the air filter. Now there is like a push-pull kind of system on the carburetor, it's got two different cables right here and they mount on the side here with this bracket and one stacks on top of the other. It's sort of convenient because one's got a little nip right here that goes into this bracket so you know exactly where they go. And one goes on one side and one goes on the other and I can't hold the camera and put it together at the same time so let me throw it together and show you what it looks like. Okay, so I've got them attached, and as you can see, one bracket goes right on top of the other one, and there's that little nip that goes into this one, so it fits perfectly, so you can see it, and let me turn it 
turn it around here, you got one in one slot, one in the other, and that's how that goes. And remember guys, you know, this is not my forte, but <laughs> I'm remembering what I did a year ago, so. All right, so next, before I lock it down, I've got my oil line here. It's gonna go to this little nip on the bottom of the carburetor. I've got my fuel line. It's going to go to this nip right here. And then I'm going to attach the four bolts that hold the intake to the engine. All right, so I got my carburetor all mounted back up. I did have to put it on twice because you do need to put the intake from the air filter on first before you go screwing this down or you'll never get it on. So I got my fuel line hooked up. I've got my oil line hooked up. Um, this is where my pulse line is going to be. And next, I guess I can start cleaning the tank. Now my tank's still in pretty good shape. I just gotta get this old gasket off so I can put my fuel pump back on and just clean it up a little bit. Okay, so I got my gas tank all cleaned up. This all smooth again. And as we put our fuel pump back on, it might be awkward to know which way that you need to make it face. So when it sits in the scooter, it's at a slant like this, the way it mounts back up. So this is the front actually. So you, the, you wanna go farthest away pointing them from the uh, sending unit. So we're gonna put it on here and lock it down this way. This is the fuel level sending unit. And I did get a new gasket for it because that's where it was leaking from. When you go to put it back on, one side has a, a raised areas. They're gonna go in these four slots here and they fit down just like that. Then we're gonna put it back in our gas tank and you just sort of gotta finagle it back down in there. Get it mounted you know which way the, this goes because these wires fit right there so we're gonna put that back on all right so my gas tank's good to go um i'm gonna re-hook this up once i get it back up there but you have um two ports coming out of your fuel pump one is the impulse and one is your fuel and so the impulse line here is going to go to the carburetor and like i said guys this was a year ago so and i do not work on these um pretty much ever so i'm not i, I believe this is the one that i'm going to put it to because um it's the one that looks like it's been used and this doesn't i might end up taking it all apart and putting it back together because i'm really not sure here like i said guys this is not my forte you know i'm chainsaws and weed eaters and blowers but i want to give you all the confidence to know that if you have a project that you've left sitting around for the last year you can fix it if i can do it you can do it all right my gas tank is reattached i got the vent line hooked up and this routing might be wrong. I don't know yet. We'll figure that out. Um, oil uh, reservoir is attached. I think I've got everything hooked up. I can throw some gas in it now and see if it leaks. All right, so not gonna lie, I did just have a mess. Um, gas was leaking out of my fuel pump. Um, when you go to tighten that thing down, make sure you tighten the dickens out of it because uh, I guess I just didn't tighten it enough and it leaked all over the place. Okay, so I think I am ready to get it started. I went ahead and cheated and looked up a video of somebody else taking one of these apart because I really wasn't sure where this impulse line went and it comes off this one, so. <laughs> Now we know, and knowing is half the battle. Let's try to start it. Okay. Let's see here. We're going to turn the key on. Take it off engine stop. Compress the brake. <laughs> oh my god.
has been sitting for four years and torn apart for the last year. So I'm sort of excited about this. All right, so now that that's over, I know that y'all want to update on this sweet little lovey-dovey thing right here. <laughs> she showed up at my house about four days ago. That's why I've been a little busy. Um, I already have two English Bulldogs that hate everything that moves, so I'm not able to um, integrate them yet because we were at work, and we tried to a little bit after work, and it's uh, we just we really need to get away from the house because my Bulldogs are not cool. <laughs> not cool like she is. She loves everything, loves people, loves kids, loves cats, or doesn't care for them actually. But it was a sort of a crazy story. She showed up about four days ago and I posted her onto Facebook and I put her all over on the Arkansas Lost and Found Pets and nobody of course replied. She likes the pepperoni. And uh, the next day after I posted her, another post comes up and it was my neighbor who had two stray dogs show up at her house. And then I had a guy about two miles down the road post another dog that showed up at the same day when all these dogs are showing up at his house. And then I made a post saying, oh my gosh, there's four dogs that were dumped and a friend about a mile and a half down the road that I've been friends with forever, he posts his dog that, or a dog that just showed up in his yard two days ago. So that's five dogs that were dumped on the same day. Whoever does it, there is a special place in, uh, you know, where for you. But I um, am giving up looking for her owner because obviously somebody um, definitely just dumped these dogs. And we haven't taken her to the vet yet because we've just been super slammed at the shop. And uh, I, you know, wasn't sure what was going to happen with her. So tomorrow I will take her to the vet, get her all checked out. She's got fleas and ticks and she showed up starving to death and you know she's fattening up now but I think she's an English pointer if you look at her head she uh does that thing whenever she zones in on something her tail sticks straight out and she's just super super sweet and chill and I just don't know how somebody could have done this but you lucked out didn't you 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 did so guys, that's it. This video is probably not going to save you any time and money, but it hopefully will give you the inspiration to pick up that project that you've been putting off for a very long time, find a YouTube video on it, and fix it. Because if I can do it, you can do it. So thanks again for tuning in to Chicanic. If you haven't found me on Facebook, find me at facebook.com slash Chicanic. Find me on Instagram at the World Chicanic or find me at Chicanic.com where you get your own t-shirts, hoodies, and long sleeve shirts. Thanks guys, and have a great day.